What it is, UFC fans, it's your boy Chris. I'm coming back with the prediction video for this weekend's UFC fight night. Marlon Marais versus Corey Sandhagen. These two guys are high level fighters. Excited for this one. Very super excited for this one. Card is better than last week on paper. It's a six fight main card. There's a lot to cover, so let's get right to it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, starting with the featherweight bout, we got Yusuf Zalal versus Leah Tapora. Okay, it's funny because a few months ago, Yusuf Zalal <clears throat> was headlining a prelim. Now he's on the main card. Maybe it's because he's active and shows up to fight and produces a fun fight. Tapora is the underdog by the odds maker. I think Zalal is going to win. He has the better cardio and he's quick from the jump. Once the bell rings, he's quick. He tries to get the job done. Plus, Tapora took this at a short notice. I will keep my eyes on on the odds for this one on short notice i see tapora pressuring and trying to finish the lull because it's 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 there's a difference when you prepare a full camp and taking a fight on short notice there's a difference everything is different so i don't see that happening i don't see tapora knocking him out or finishing early i see the uh winning this fight because the law moves around too much i don't think i don't see him getting caught i say the law wins Use of the law for the victory. Moving on to the next fight, we got the heavyweight bout Tom Aspinall versus Alan Badat. Another fighter that took a fight on short notice. Question is, would that affect the fight? I, I said it previous uh, uh, the previous breakdown. It does affect the fighter and the whole fight. Cool fact about Aspinall, he trains uh, or he trained with Tyson Fury. Uh, he has the experience department. Aspinall is coming off from a KO victory and Allen got choked out by Todd, Todd Stout. But they had to overturn that and give the victory to Allen because Todd tested positive for weed. I don't know. I don't know about that. I say Aspinall wins this by the first round. Maybe even a KO. Next fight, Marcus Perez versus Drakus Duplessis. Do you think Marcus is going to come out as Joker painted on his face again? Like he always does on uh, for the face-offs? I think so. To be honest, I give him props. This guy actually looks like Joker when he, when he paints himself. Yeah, I, he might be the top one that, that actually pulls this off. Okay, um... Moving on, Marcus trains out at trains out at ATT. He's physically very strong. Perez's fight never went to the judges, meaning he, he never went to the distance. He either submits you or he just grinds you out. And for Jerkus, he either finishes you or he gets finished. This is a very interesting fight to call. But I got Drikus. Drikus is a favorite on the odds. Drikus is very crafty on the mat. He's smart on the mat. He always stays composed when he's in trouble. Um, his previous fights, he they get dropped numerous of times. And he still weathered the storm and found a way to win. He level changes when he needs to. He uh, slows down the pace when he needs to. And he controls the fight. Finds a way to win all the time. <clears throat> he got a good submission game. He's sneaky. He'll find a way to get the back and just stay there. He'll just grind you out even from the back. Also, he has a nasty ground and pound. I'll go with Drikus Duplessis. I don't know if he can finish Perez. I don't know if he can finish Perez. But I do see him grinding him out. And I do know he is a grinder. Maybe through distance or... I don't know. I, I, I see Marcus losing this one. Yeah, Drikus to find a way to win <clears throat> moving on to the, another heavyweight bout we got ben rothwell versus marcin tibora okay straight to the point whoever has a better gas tank for that day wins the fight i mean got a uh, ben got the controversial win over osp some people thought big ben won some people thought osp won but who cares about that fight that fight was whatever I, nobody cares about that fight so let's move on marcin tibora is a black belt bjj artist he slows down maybe even Maybe his gas tank's even worse than Ben. These two are these two are big heavyweights. Marcin is going to aim to take Ben down and try to keep him down there with low output. He, they're not going to throw hands standing up. They're not going to throw hands or anything even on the ground. So let me warn you guys. I see this very slow. I see this fight very slow. Safe pick will be over to go the distance. Yeah, I, this fight is going to go to the distance. And if I had to pick a fighter to win, I, I do see underdog Tibora getting it done. Moving on, co-main, 
this one is fireworks we got Edson Barbosa versus Maquan Amir Khani Amir Khani is very good if you guys don't know who he is he's very good <clears throat> he's good at taking his opponents down <clears throat> and he's going against Edson Edson has a very good takedown defense I mean when he fought Khabib you really can't count that because Khabib is uh, a crazy he's crazy uh, grappling, wrestling, sambo, whatever. He's crazy. He'll take down a freaking elephant if you wanted to and then hold him down or even maybe even submit him. I don't know. But he, Khabib is crazy. But uh, Barbosa, he, oh, he, he, numerous of times he got up. He found a way up. But that's not easy against Khabib. Not a lot of people can get up, right? The point is, Edson got up numerous times when Habib took him down. I don't think Amir Khani can hold him down. Or maybe, I don't even I don't even know if he can take him down. Barbosa has very good takedown defense. I see Edson uh, finishing him with kicks or anything related to uh, striking. I don't don't really see Amir Khani threatening Edson with anything else. I got Edson Barbosa via TKO or KO. Main card of the evening, we got Marlon Marais versus Corey Sanhagen. Two top-ranked bantamweight contenders. Both of them have very good striking. I see power favoring Marlon, and I see precision favoring Corey. Key to the fight is if Marlon's gas tank holds up. Every fight, he either gets the early finish or loses because he has no more energy to fight. I don't know if he's trying to fix his cardio. He never improves his cardio. I mean, his leg kicks are deadly. His knees are deadly, but... Would that be enough to defeat Corey, uh, Corey early in the rounds? I don't think so. Pretty much Marlon has two rounds or maybe even three rounds to finish the fight. If the fight goes longer, I see Corey winning the fight by decision or even maybe finishing him in the later rounds. I got Corey Sandhagen to win via TKO in the later rounds. Let me know what you guys think. Fun main card. Looking forward to it. Drop a like and a comment. It really helps me. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to su subscribe, follow my Patreon to know what I would bet, and breakdown coming up later this weekend. Stay safe, y'all, and peace.